Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about the ready-made strategy templates in Bulls AI. To access that, we'll click on Phoenix and below we have to scroll down and click on explore ready templates. So as you can see, you will find many ready-made templates over here, over here, which you can use to run your strategy in backtesting, paper trading and live trading mode. Today we are going to discuss MSCD. Within MSCD, we have MSCD crossover and we have RSI MSCD crossover. So let's talk about MACD. What is MACD? The full form of MACD is moving average convergent divergence. This is the code for MACD. So let's talk about how MACD works. So this strategy leverages the MACD line and the signal line crossovers to capture trend shifts. Over here, we can see two lines which are plotted, the MACD line and the signal line. It enters a buy when MACD line crosses above the signal line and sell when it crosses below the signal line. If you click on the settings part, as you can see over here, there is time period fast, time period slow and time period signal. The time period signal decides the time period to be plotted for the MACD signal line and the time period fast and slow decides the time period to be plotted for the MACD line. You can use this play around with these parameters to get your things done. So to run this, We'll click on save, we'll go scroll below and click on continue. After clicking on continue, as you can see, this thing is appeared. I'll again click on settings. In the settings, I'll select the segment and I'll select a stock. Let's say GRSE. Let the candle size be five minutes and uh, let the parameters as it is. I'll click on save and then I'll click on save and start. I can run anything like backtesting, paper trading and live trading. But right now the markets are closed. I'll show you how to run backtesting over this strategy. I'll go to step four and choose the time duration. Let's say I'll choose three months. The quantity be 100 and I don't want to set the PNL tracker. That is the stop loss level and the target level. And then I'll click on backtest. Now the backtest has been started to run. If I refresh this, the log will start to come in the data side. Meanwhile, let's see what is the MACD RSI crossover? I'll quickly, I'll quickly hop on to that terminal again. So this is the code for RSI MACD. As the name suggests, this is the combination of RSI and MACD. So whenever we see signals generated both from RSI, that is when a buy is triggered, when RSI on the MACD line crosses above the oversold level, while sell is triggered, when it crosses below the overbought level. Very simple, right? Let's go back and see if our backtesting has been completed or not. I can see it's still running, but I can refresh and get the logs right now. I can see the logs. If I refresh over here, I can see the other logs as well. In the analytics part, I can see uh, the analytics. MACD is a good strategy uh, with all these parameters. I can see the cumulative returns graph, the PNL curve and other things as well. I can see the monthly returns as well, the daily returns as well, the drawdown plot, the gross ROI and trading volume in a shape of a heat map and the total trades as well. Inside the analytics part, I can see the number of total wins, the number of total losses, the hit ratio, the sort in ratio, the sharp ratio. In the data part, I can see the PNL table. As you can see, PNL table has been appeared. So one of the things, let's say, it bought at 24th at 325, 100 quantity and it sold after five minutes, the all of the 100 quantity at 330, the closing time of the market. So this was all about MACD and I'll see you in next video. Thank you everyone.